What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and in today's Film Room episode I want to look at the most underrated tight end in the NFL. And the most underrated tight end in the NFL for me at the moment is definitely Cole Komet because he does so much for the Chicago Bears that goes unnoticed. If it's his blocking or his catches, his touchdowns, whatever it is, Cole Komet is playing one heck of a season. And in today's Film Room episode, I want to look at his abilities in the passing game, not looking too much at his blocking. If you want a separate episode on that, I can do that for you guys. But mostly I think it's interesting today how he developed into a passing threat for the Chicago Bears in 2022 and just give a quick little outlook how his role could look in the future as well. As for his stats so far this season, let's quickly look at that as well. He's played 10 games for the Chicago Bears, made 23 receptions, 274 yards, 5 touchdowns, and the biggest stat for me is the yards after the catch per reception, which is at 8.2 at the moment, which puts him at the top 14 of the NFL, which is pretty kind of a sick stat for a tight end, the only guy that's above him from the tight is Dallas Goddard of the Eagles. So he's putting up a really quite nice season for the Chicago Bears. Yes, the yards are not outstanding, but he's putting up a lot of touchdowns lately and is getting better each and every game and also the connection between him and Justin Fields seems to be getting better every single day. And with that being said, let's start off with today's film room. This film room will be split up into three categories and we want to start off with the first one now, which is the yak, the yards after the catch. So starting off today's film room, we want to look at the first situation which was against the New York Giants. We want to watch the play first of all like always, Cole Komet right there, number 85. And as we'll see it's just a quick little tight end screen to him, fakes the block, gets the ball in there and then is just able to drag a guy forward for a easy first down reception right there. And this one just a quick little simple play to just show you guys what Cole Komet can do your for your offense. First of all, beautiful block sale right away. Uh, the screen just requires of him to block this guy, act like, he, like he's getting beat by him, and then just stands right there, receives the football, and the two, um, the guard and uh, the right tackle in that case, I think it's still Larry Borum and Tevin Jenkins at right guard, are going to uh, just step into the second level and block uh, as a uh, or just block for him uh, in the first place right there and just beautiful execution right there acts like he's getting beat the edge rusher things oh free money I'm about to sack Justin Fields Justin turns his eyes to Cole flips it over beautiful execution and then just him right there initiating contact first at the 50 dragging the guy for almost 10 yards for a first guy I mean that's just showing some acceleration right away here you can see it from the end zone angle too sells it perfectly uh, just quick little catch and then contact initiated right there at the 50 and just drags the guy forward uh, with his momentum to about the 40. Great play by Cole Komet, just showing off his yak ability right away. And I have some plays with me today as well that show that uh, a little bit more. But the first quick little play to look at to showcase Cole Komet's abilities. As for the next play that we want to look at, we have a yards after the catch play against the Minnesota Vikings. On this one, Cole Komet is lined up on the bottom of the screen and is going to face, I think, even a nickel or safety in that situation, it looks like. But safety is about to blitz, wide open, finds a green grass, really good stuff right there by Cole Komet, and then just falls forward, keeps moving his feet for, I think, another first down, easy first down in that situation. Like we said, there we have Cole Komet right there, and he's just going to have a beautiful sit right there in between the zone. You can name it a hitch, but it's, it's more like five, six, seven steps, just a stick route. You can, yeah, let's, let's name it a stick route uh, where he just has the option wherever uh, the safety safety's moving in that case the guy that's above him is about to blitz so he has just a wide open pass right there Justin feels a great read by him as well just good awareness finding a green grass by Cole Komet in that situation that's easy for him to get open on this one right there boom wide open in between linebackers and safeties perfectly executed and then just makes a catch nice 
easy catch for him and then just drags multiple guys forward. It's about three guys that needs to stop him. Just big time playmaking ability right there by Cole Komet. Absolutely love it. Just give your quarterback a quick little option. Just your check down or an easy completion in the zone. Boom, find the green grass. Nice breakdown. And then just move the ball forward. Uh, get some extra yards to help out your offense. Absolutely perfect play by Cole Komet in that situation. But catching the football and turning them into good yards seems to be not the only way to involve Cole Komet into a offense. And that's why Luke Getze decided to give him a designed reverse run for Cole Komet. He's going to motion over right there before the snap and gets the ball and turns it into some nice yardage. That's not certainly a yards after the catch, but I just still wanted to include that right here to just to showcase his versatility right there. Absolutely love how they involve, involve him into the offense. Excuse me. Uh, he's maybe not the fastest guy but really shows off some speed on this play we just have Kari Blazing game in there uh, who's about to block the edge rusher I think it's Bradley Chubb and then you will have just the reverse uh, play to Cole Komet gets the football right away and just turns on the Jets all he ha uh, does have actually and then just gains some extra yards which I absolutely love just like I said shows off his speed still is able to fall forward by the end of the play as well and yeah just love the creativity of somewhat not totally but somewhat building the offense around your tight end i think that's never a bad idea tight ends are so damn valuable in the league cole Komet is also an excellent blocker i will talk about that briefly at the end as well but man cole Komet is looking really good so far uh this season and i can't wait what the future holds with him and the last play for the Yak category today is probably my favorite one. This time Cole Komet will be lined up right here next to Darnell Mooney at the bottom of the screen. We'll have EQ who motions over to the other side and then just simply runs a quick out and then boom, lowers his shoulder fights for the first down absolutely love this one it's obviously against Xavier Howard which is a cornerback but he's a strong corner he's not a weak corner and yeah just absolutely love this effort by Cole Komet on this one it's a run or RPO in that case a run with a pass option obviously and uh yeah Darnell Mooney in that case I already broke that down in the Bears Dolphins film room episode so if you want to feel free to check this one out but right there you will have Cole Komet uh, running the quick out to the outside, only a one to two yard route, and Darnell Mooney is about to have a hitch uh, to the inside, and that's just a beautiful, beautiful read by Justin Fields, by the way, and then just a quick out, good route, nothing too crazy, and then just easy catch, turns up the field right away, absolutely love it, right there, he catches the ball at around the 30, and then he's just able to turn that one to two yard route into a eight or nine yard gain for a first down that's just absolutely beautiful stuff right there by Cole Komet they can see him lowering his shoulder trucking the guy forward and then just also reaching for the first down absolutely amazing effort by Cole Komet on that play love this one one of my favorite plays of him the entire season just angry runs lowering the shoulder there we have it again beautiful stuff by my man Cole Komet and with that being said we actually want to move on to category number two now which will be the catch and traffic slash the hands And starting off the catch in traffic slash hands category, we want to start off with a catch in traffic, somewhat of a catch in traffic, or just a nice catch overall against the Houston Texans. This time we have the bunch formation to the right, and Cole Komet is the inside guy on this formation right there. And we will see him just running a beautiful override behind the linebackers, perfectly executed. Catches the football, holds on to it, takes a hit, drags forward. Uh, that's just something we have seen from him now with the yak category, just dragging some guys, falling forward. But overall, really love this play by Cole Komet. It's a big time play to help out your quarterback against zone coverage. It's just somewhat of that climb route between the linebacker and then just sticking right behind them. Beautiful execution by him on the route. And then just absolutely love his soft hands on this one. And just how he's able to turn it up the field right away once again. We will see it better from the end zone angle. Let's rewatch that first right there behind the linebackers. Perfect catch. And then it's just able to 
boom, turn it up the field right away to gain some extra yards. Absolutely love that ability by him uh, and just what he shows right there on this play. We'll see it from the right side. He's coming into play uh, once again right there. Perfectly open behind the linebackers. Great throw by Justin. And boom, right there. It's just not that diamond uh, catch, right, with the hands forming that diamond. No, it's somewhat of that over-the-shoulder uh, catch. Just somewhat catching with his body, which is not always perfect. But that in that situation, in that certain situation, it worked out perfectly. He was able to turn it up the field right away. Uh, contact is initiated, but he's still able to drag forward. Love this play by Cole Komet. As for the next play that we want to look at is one against the Washington Commanders. Pretty similar situation he's about to run. Not with a bunch this time, though. He's uh, the inside guy right there with that two tight end set. Really heavy formation, and he's just once again running that over route against uh, zone coverage. Perfect execution on the route once again. And this time, a bit more in traffic. Really great catch in traffic as this time by him. Has several defenders right by him. Takes a hit right away as soon as as he catches it but really good job at high pointing the football holding on to him and just a big time big time catch on that PA rollout to help out your quarterback right there beautiful high point is about to get hit by the safety or wherever it is cornerback whatever and then just holds on to it really nice catch showing off the hands of Cole Komet and now moving on to the next play that we want to look at. This is probably Cole Komet's best catch of the entire season he's lined up right here I uh, just uh, in the slot somewhat of a bunch formation once again and he's about to run a route into the flats and uh, what is about to happen you can watch it yourself just absolutely beautiful runs his route into the flats somewhat of the quick out Justin Fields has to scramble great awareness by Cole Komet and then Boom, incredible back shoulder catch right there by Cole Komet. Like I said, definitely my favorite one of him for the entire season. Uh, like I said, as for the route, he is about to run that quick out into the flats. Sees that Justin Fields has to scramble, panics, or not really panics, but has to scramble, uh, not panicking uh, there at all, though. So um, runs his route into the flats and then sees it, great awareness, turns it up the field, and then just makes a big time catch to help out his offense really love this one uh, just great positioning on this one as well we will see it from the end zone angle let's watch it again from the all 22 though boom beautiful catch first down great job right there and from the other angle you will see it a bit better call commit lined up to your left number 85 obviously good route into the flats as a check down and then escapes up the field and then right there beautiful Beautiful positioning off the body, somewhat of that Jimmy Graham type of stuff, just boxing out your defender, beautifully done, and then it's just able to see the ball, haul it in, great catch, great concentration, but like I said, really love the positioning of the body against uh, that defender right there, big time catch, and then just also being able to uh, just be in bounds and uh, making that catch, big time play by Cole Komet on this one. And the last play that we want to look at for the catch and traffic slash hands category is pretty much from last weekend Sunday's game against the Detroit Lions. And uh, this one was just a big time. I think it's his second or is it his first time? It's his second touchdown of the entire game. This one more of a busted coverage, but still great ability to catch that ball and just get a big time deep touchdown going for the Chicago Bears offense as for his route on this play it's not really simple but it's still a post route right and he's lined up right there on the bottom of the screen it's just going to run a 12 yard and then post breaks it right there beautiful route by him uh I don't know if it was him that actually confused the defense or the defense in general was just confused on that play, but good route. Some communication error must have happened by the defense and then just wide open, wide open uh, for that easy touchdown for the Bears. Perfect play action sell. Sticks his foot into the ground. Good route. Nothing too outstanding, honestly, and then just... 
great ball by Justin Fields and then being able to haul that pass in even though I think the big uh, thing to overcome here was actually the sun because the sun looked like it was shining into his high, uh, eyes heavily so uh, great ability to catch it right there even though he's looking into the sun and then the rest is obviously easy for him looking at it from the end zone angle too I mean that just shows that he has the ability to make some big time plays for the Chicago Bears some explosive plays obviously he's not the most explosive Titan but he can block he can catch he can make some good stuff happen uh, the next category will be pretty interesting as well but right there beautiful catch against the sun great execution by Cole Komet and Justin Fields and then the easy touchdown for the Chicago Bears and with that, that finishes off our catch and traffic slash hands category and moves us to the last category that we want to look at today, which is himself as a red zone threat. Starting off the red zone category, we want to look at his first touchdown of the season, which was actually against the Dallas Cowboys. Cole Komet this time will be lined up right here. I think he is the most outside guy right here. Yeah, he is the outside guy of that heavy formation three tight end look. And this quick little category won't necessarily just showcase his abilities as a blocker but it shows what his good blocking abilities can actually do good for you in the play action passing game on this one we can watch it first he's just about to run somewhat of a fade route however you want to name it it's just a fake block and then just getting behind the defender and making the catch we will see that uh, multiple times in this category and just overall beautiful execution by him right there you show a heavy look that's a great look in the first of all for play action just uh, forcing everybody to stack the box and then just getting outside with Justin Fields and making something happen with either his legs or passing uh, obviously if someone is wide open and in that case Cole Komet is wide open just acts like a blocker against the safety right there and then just turns it up the field beautiful route uh, turns his body and makes the easy catch for the touchdown and like I said, his good blocking just opens up those fakes. That's why he is so dangerous in the red zone. And then just easy catch, boom, beautiful completion by Justin Fields as well for the touchdown. Nothing more has to be said. We can watch it from this angle too. Just watching his route right there. Acts like he's about to block and then just turns it up the field. Beautiful sell by him. Absolutely love it. Easy touchdown in the red zone. And that's why he is so dangerous there. Because you can use him as a blocker. You can use him uh, You can use him as a red zone threat uh, with play action. So absolutely beautiful stuff right there by Cole Komet once again. And continuing with his red zone abilities, we now want to look at a play against the Miami Dolphins where his real madness started. Two touchdowns in that game, two touchdowns against the Lions last week. I mean, absolutely incredible stuff. I can wait and see what he holds for us now for the next couple of games or for the rest of the season if he keeps going with that stuff. But this time being lined up right there as the first tight end. And that once again, pretty heavy package you show him uh, with uh, right there. EQ, who's a great blocker. You have Kari Blessingame in there as well. Uh, Trayvon Wesco, too. So, really love the play design on this one. But, like I said, Cole Komet is right here. And he's just simply, once again, acting like a blocker and then just running somewhat of a short wheel route, a bubble route, a swing. I don't know uh, what exactly you want to name it, but doesn't matter at the end. Uh, but, yeah, for the route overall, it's just, like I said, pretty easy. He's just acting like a blocker on Melvin Ingram and then just turns up the field somewhat like I said mini swing short swing uh, short wheel bubble whatever you want to name it but really sold the block well on this one once again right here against Ingram boom hits a little bit of a block which is important too because it gives Justin Fields a bit more time to throw on that play and then turns it up the field beautifully done turns his body great catch that's not super easy to catch this one so really love the play design and once again involving Cole Komet in the red zone who does a great job in there boom right there easy catch for the touchdown and just a beautiful play by the Chicago Bears offense we can watch it again from this angle and just overall easy pitch and catch for the offense absolutely love this play design but like I said, that was not his only touchdown against the Miami Dolphins. We will also have this 
quick little beautiful somewhat of a red zone i mean we're in between the 20 right there so it still counts as a red zone and then just being able to make something happen with the yards after the catch once again i could have involved that in both kinds of categories but it's more like being a red zone threat once again getting wide open on the drag across the field beautiful execution by the bears offense once again and Kolkomet is just going to find his way, which is not easy, across the traffic right there and just runs that drag route into the flats, wide open, nobody's covering him. Just once again, heavy formation, love the play actions out of those and just getting Kolkomet, your playmaker, the ball wide open right there, catches the football and then also big time play by EQ right there as a blocker, but also great ability of Kolkomet just once again, turning his body fast. Uh, just trying to find the end zone, turning it up the field, just accelerating right there as well, and just being able to get it into the end zone. Great job, Cole Komet, once again, just fast enough this time to get it to the end zone. And man, I have to say, Cole Komet really looks incredible for three weeks straight now. Really, like, incredible. He has been looking good all season, but really turns it up. And like I said, it will be interesting what he does for the rest of the year. And that already leads us, sadly, to the last play of today's Film Room episode, guys. This one is from last week at Against the Lions. We already watched one, the deep touchdown, which was included, I think, in a catch and traffic enhanced category, right? But this one right there, Cole Komet is about to motion over right here. And he just, once again, similar to the Cowboys touchdown, is about to sell the block on the safety and then turns it up the field moves his body uh, towards the quarterback and makes a easy catch in that situation. Just really love how he's able to do it each and every week. Just selling the block, getting out there towards the end zone, makes a beautiful catch. Justin finds him with a good ball. Absolutely love, I love this. Uh, just right there, once again, sells the block, turns it up the field, somewhat of that fade or curl, whatever you, you want to name that route. Uh, just a simple fake block and then just incredible sell once again. Good high point of the football in there as well, which is important. Obviously, want him to catch that right there. It's a bit of a high ball, but Justin needs to make sure to get it above the defender's ha uh, head. So uh, no problem with the placement. And then big time catch by Cole Komet for once again, six points that are because of him. Really love it that we have it from the end zone angle too. Just Cole, super dangerous with the P uh, play action plays in the red zone. Once again, big time play by number 85. So now for a quick little conclusion, I really love how Cole Komet has developed over this entire season. Really just somewhat became a vocal point of the offense over the last three weeks. Being able to score a touchdown in each and every game of those, absolutely love that. And also just his abilities as a blocker really looks good in a run game. Does some good blocking for the Chicago Bears, which as you saw, then opens up the play action game in the red zone for him. Absolutely incredible abilities that he has right there. And that's definitely the reason why he's one of the most underrated tight ends in the league he does everything for the Chicago Bears makes so many things happen after the catch it's absolutely incredible and I just can't wait and see what he holds for the future I'm expecting a lot of things because the Chicago Bears should get a better offensive line the Chicago Bears should get some better playmakers which obviously takes some uh, just weight off of his back as well and I can't wait and see what his future holds with the Chicago Bears but really despite not having the most receiving yards love what I'm seeing out of Cole Komet this season so with that being said that's already the end of the video guys definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think about Cole Komet season so far in 2022 like and subscribe if you like the video check out Instagram and Twitter if you want to as well and as always guys bear down